Hi guys, it's Chief again, and today we are looking at the VK3002M and widely considered the real Panther tank. And it is a Panther, it has the proper turret, it has the proper chassis. Armor wise, no. <laughs> yeah. This is disappointing because this is one of the best tanks in World War II, obviously, and they're not making any better. I mean, seriously. When Shermans, when American Shermans ran into these tanks in World War II, they had a 50-50 chance to penetrate the back end of a Panther. I mean, if they're really lucky, you know, and most of the time they shot the back of the Panther, it bounced off. The Panther turned around with its high power, um, high velocity 75 and put a hole straight through the tur uh, Sherman and Sherman blew up because obviously we all know that Sherman is a gasoline driven tank um, now in this game this tank isn't bad it's tier 6 so it's somewhat in its proper tier um, the armor yeah the turret is uh, 100 millimeter uh, in the front and as you can see it's mostly covered by the gun and it's spaced so I'm gonna say yeah probably it's good it's actually the same frontal armor as Super P uh, the, the front um, that weird piece of plate on the uh, Super Persian is actually the front turret armor of a Panther so yeah you're looking at it um, the front hull armor is 60 but it's decently sloped so it's quite a bouncy tank. Not really any weak spots on the lower glacis isn't too obvious, it's, so it's not too bad. If you angle this tank, you can bounce a lot of shots. The gun is the L70, as we know. It's a little bit fa faster firing than the Stuck gun, so yeah, and again, I didn't actually put a Chinese flag on it or a uh, Lucky Clover, because this is the Panther. I like to keep it, actually. I, I really like this tank. So. Let's see some replay and see how I did in this game. Um, over here, again, map names. <laughs> Hemmelsdorf, Standard Battle. Okay, we're going up the hill. I was talking to my friend about the gun depression. I mean, look, the German tanks at in World of Tanks at this tier or even at any tier, they have a little bit of gun depression. It's not too bad, not like Chinese tanks. And they're tall, so they're shooting down at people and against some of the lower profile tank even with the very sloped armor I mean you're shooting down so you're negating a lot of that sloping so I quite like the idea um, but of course the tank have no armor on the side no armor in the back um, I think the turret is uh, 45 on the side and the hull is 40 but as you can see it has where my that little dot is pointing it's actually a lot of space armor right there okay now we're getting to the battle here so I'm gonna zoom into my regular cam okay now here is putting that gun depression to work okay. looking over I can still shoot pretty well uh, let's see if anything comes up, comes up the hill hmm No. Oh, here's our first target, uh, Wolverine. Uh, Wolverine doesn't have a lot of armor, but at its own tier, it's extremely good because how sloped it is, you actually bounce quite a lot of shots. Yeah, you're not supposed to be here, and unfortunately I missed a shot, so yeah. I went out. Wolverine actually puts... Let's see, where did he shoot me? He actually puts a shot to the front of my tank, which is surprising, and Electo, yeah, obviously, he's not even fight, firing high explosive out of his derp gun. Why are you shooting AP at me? Um, obviously, that one bounced. So, let's go back to normal cam and keep going. Now, went out again, looking around, ooh, KV-2. Puts another shot, but that one went into my tracks. Put one into Electo, and Electo gets finished off. KV-2, no, you're shooting the wrong tank. Why are you shooting him? I tried to put another round, but he went back down. So let's finish off the Wolverine. Again, you can zoom in, fire, and zoom out real quick that way. Um, 
you can look around and know your surroundings really really well it's one of the tricks it looks like I wasn't aiming but I was it, it was a fully aimed shot it's just that I zoomed out really quick so I, I can see what's going on the KV2 is actually a very good driver but I don't know I still don't like that 107 I still think that derp gun is better uh, a little bit careful here but Hellcat took a rush down and KV2 misses he actually did the right thing to backing off because obviously we have you know a lot of enemy coming at him and see the Hellcat rush the KV-2 aimed at me but choose to shoot the other one so I'm gonna come around trying to finish off this KV-2 and Hellcat finds their already and finishes him off one shot and he puts a shot to me it's a pretty big shot so two shot all right he's at seven health I tried to do a drive-by here, but I missed, but I kept going because 7 hit points is a waste of my ammo. Remember, full damage hits, and I made a boo-boo right there. <laughs> Alright, keep going, another Wolverine. Uh, again, demonstrating this tank's armor is not bad. I mean, Wolverine is the same tier I am. And again, right here. Now, he's facing me, I'm facing him. I'm gonna put my tank straight into his face. That way, he's gonna have a hard time trying to aim. Back up, take a shot. Oh, no, not loaded. No, he kills my driver. I right, kills him. Oh, keep going. Now, here, fix my driver because I realized I was going really, really slow. Wait. Hold on. What is that? Hold on. Let me zoom in for you. Yeah, tunnel vision much? <laughs> now, he saw that that many tank came down the hill at him, right? If he was, if he knew, if he was looking around and knew what was coming, he could have easily killed me. I only had 200 health left, but no. Let's see what happens, okay? So, okay, he's shooting that Cromwell. I put a shot into him. He never turns around. Look, his gun never moved. Seriously? Oh, well, fine, I'll kill you. So, um, we are obviously... We're actually losing. Um, and it's 10-8. Oh, KV-1. Oh, KV-1S, actually. That bounced off his tracks. Or his track aided. it. Put a shot into him. And he chews the wrong target. Puts another shot. Sets him on fire. He gets derped in the face. Finishes him off. Oh, see, again, that bounced. Uh, let's see. Where? Ah. Free camera. Okay, where did it hit me? Look at all of the shots. See, the front of the... It's pretty bouncy, and people, especially at lower tier, they don't try to shoot your lower hull. I mean, and it's not that big of a target if you look at it, right? So, the front is actually quite bouncy on this tank. I took a few shots on the gun mount, but it's the gun, and and I guess all of the gun, all of the shots I penetrated except that one went through my gun, so, okay. Uh, took a shot there, 8 health. Oh, see. 3601 is one of my favorite German tanks. It's really, really tough. And here, take a shot back up. Since it's a fast tank, you can keep doing this. I mean, he have to... So, we are back in the garage with the tank. Uh, the game was a defeat. I will post the uh, battle result at the end of this video. I I still couldn't get World of uh, World of Tank replay to work or W O T replay to work properly with my uh, recording software. So unfortunately, I I don't really have a way of recording. If someone figured out how to do it, let me know. <laughs> it, it would be really helpful. Um, I did like almost 2,000 damage. Walk away, walked away was 1,500 XP on the defeat, uh, 33,000 credit. Um, I got Steel Wall, Spartan, and uh, Sniper, yeah. And of course, I got my uh, Master Tanker first class badge. So I haven't had a mass. Uh, I haven't had Ace Tanker yet. I only play like 10 games in this tank, so. Even though I like it, I have, again, look, um, let's go, oh, yeah, I have about 60, 
uh, yeah, about 60, 65 tanks. So yeah, I don't really get to play, it. and I play all of these. So unfortunately, I don't get to play e a particular tank a lot unless I'm grinding. And when I got this tank, um, I've gotten everything unlocked on the German tree, and I'm progressing down. I I got, I finally got my Doom Cannon in my E100, and I'm just horrible at it. But that's okay. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the replay. Again, um, in game, watch your mini map and don't tunnel vision. And even if you were engaging a specific target that you're really, really trying to kill, at least look around every so often. Like every other shot, look at your mini map. Be aware of your surroundings and plot your attacks. You know, don't pick a spot, go sit there and sit there for the rest of the map. Plot your attacks, watch what your team is doing and do your best to support them, even though they might not be doing the right thing. It would help your team, it would help your survivability, it would help your game, it would help you win. So, and I hope you guys enjoyed the replay, please subscribe to my channel if you did, and hope you guys have fun in World of Tanks.